OK. In this video, I will explain to you the concept of supply, schedule, and supply curve. Now we saw the law of supply in the previous video which says that other things remaining the same namely the other factors remaining the same the quantity of supply increases with the increase in price of goods okay now supply schedule is basically a tabular representation of law of supply okay let's take case of a particular commodity let's take supply of rice so let's say we take the rice price per kg okay let's say the quantity supplied okay so let's say the price of rice was 20 30 and 40 rupees a kg okay and at these prices the quantity supplied was 100 okay 150 and 200 if you notice as the price increased from 20 to 30 the quantity supplied increased similarly again as the price increased from 30 to 40 the quantity supplied increased right so let's call this po as point x y and z so basically we'll represent these now in the form of a graph when you represent them in the form of a graph the line which is formed, the curve which is formed by connecting these three points is known as the supply curve. So let's say, for example, I take the x-axis, I take the y-axis, okay? On the x-axis, what I do is, I keep the supply, which is the quantity, and on the y-axis, I denote the price. So let's say 10, 20, 30, and 40. Let's say the quantity supplied 50, 100, 150, 200. Now when the price is 20, which is basically this, the quantity supplied is 100 which is this right so you draw a line so at this point which is there basically the price is 20 and the quantity supplied is 100 this is represented by point x so i write x here now the price increased to 30 which is this point okay and at this price, the quantity supplied is 150, which is this. So this becomes point Y. Let's trace Z also. At Z, the price is 40. The quantity supplied is 200. Right? So again, you draw a line here. You draw a line here. So this is going to be your reference point Z. Now, if you connect these three points, this line that you get, let's call it S, okay, is basically your supply curve, right? So, this is your basically your supply curve, which gives 
the various quantity of goods which is supplied at various prices and for this we have assumed that the other factors remain the same. Okay. So this is what we have about supply schedule and supply curve. 